welcome to Star Maker. Today, we'll be looking at Gundam Artifact Phase 3, number 014, Stunt J Gun. It's my first time building a mini plow like this. There are only 4 tiny runners from the box, but each part is packed full of details. The instructions here look pretty straightforward. Quite easy to build, it seems. The runners all use a single colour, not like the usual gunplas that have some colour separation. Looks like we will need to paint this kit to make it more complete. Here are some close-ups of the runners. As you can see, there is quite a lot of surface details. The design is also altered with more mechanics. It's different from the original designs. Let's get to removing the parts. The gates holding the parts are quite thin. Using a nipper to remove the parts may be quite the challenge, though you could probably use a hobby knife as well. Just be careful when removing the parts. After which, use a hobby knife to remove the leftover gate on the removed part. Let's put the parts together, starting with the right arm. Even though it's quite small, I'm surprised how detailed it is. It's much more than what you will get on a high grade kit. Let's assemble everything to get a gauge of how we will separate them for painting. There isn't a lot of parts, but the size make it quite a challenge. We will definitely need to hand paint some parts. Just look at how tiny the size of the head is. Let's finish up here and assemble the rest of the parts. Hard to imagine this is half the size of a high grade kit. The Gundam Artifact Mini Plus has a slightly altered design from the original scene in the shows. There are more exaggerated details to the designs, especially on the backpack. Now that we got a good look, let's prep the parts for painting. To close the seam line between the parts, I'll be using plastic cement to join them. I'll not be going heavy with removing the seams, as this is too delicate for a kit of this size. Side note, the Gundam Artifact Mini Plus is made of ABS plastic instead of the usual polystyrene found on most plastic models. I would recommend using ABS cement, but any plastic cement used for model kits should work fine. I'm using a 1000 grit sandpaper to lightly sand off as much seams as I can. I will deepen some of the details with a scoring blade. Some of this panel line can get clogged up during priming. The inside of the bazooka's barrel is quite hard to reach with a sandpaper. To get to that sim, I'll be using my Tamiya electric drill. As well as the bits from the router set. I'll be attaching a ball sanding bit to sand down the sim inside. With the seams removed, let's get to painting. I'll be using Mr. Surfacer 1000 to prime the kit. Another note, lacquer cleaner may cause damage to ABS plastic. It is known to weaken it. However, if you prime it with light coats, it should minimize exposure to the thinner. Keep the primer mixture to use small amounts of thinner to prevent coating over wetly. For the base paint, I'll be mixing three colors to achieve the stark Jagan's light green. I'll be using Mr. Color White for the main color, followed by small amounts of interior turquoise green and green FS34227. Add thinner to mix them together. A trick is to add in enough such that the paint has a milk-like consistency, adding a bit more white into the mixture. It kind of looks like melted mint ice cream. We will pour that into the airbrush and paint it onto the main body. The base color turned out quite well, pretty close to the official colors. For the backpack, missile parts, and the hyper bazooka, I'll be using Mr. Color Dark Grey 2. I like to use this color for weapons and details on backpacks as it is on a range of shade that is still light enough for darker colors to be used for separating details. 
With all of our parts given a base paint, we can start hand painting. I'll be using a variety of paints ranging from lacquer, aqueous and enamel paint. Starting again with Mr. Hobby Dark Grey 2 for parts that are too small to mask for airbrushing. I am using a paint retarder to tint the paint. This helps to spread out the paint better, but regular thinner works fine as well. The mixing ratio is about 1 is to 1 so that it is just wet enough to spread on the surface. I painted the areas that are meant to be the additional armour of the Stark Jagan. For colour separation for the main body, I'll be using Mr. Hobby Interior Turquoise Green. This will give it some contrast between the parts. Continuing, some Tamiya enamel red for the torso details and the missiles mounted on the shoulders. Mr. Hobby yellow for the vents and inner part of the thrusters. For the head's visors, I will use GX Rough Silver for the base and Aquarius Clear Blue on the top. For the grey parts separation, I will use Tamiya Enamel Dark Grey. The variation of the grey tones will help detail separation. For the outer part of the veneers, I will use Tamiya Enamel Flat Aluminium. I will apply this to some of the pistons as well. Following up with Tamiya Enamel Gold Leaf, which goes really well for such details. Finally, for the final touch-up, I will use Tamiya Enamel Flat Black as the panel lining colour. This helps to bring out etched in details. You can use Enamel Thinner to erase the paint safely if the base paint used are lacquer. The two types of thinner do not react to each other. And with that, we are done with the painting. Let's get to assembling the parts together and see how it all turned out. It is always exciting to assemble the kit you have finished painting. A satisfying feeling to see the parts all put together. Wondering how it will turn out? The colour separation really helped to contrast each part. It looks really good. The colours turn out great. This is also my first time using colour separations. I really like the results. Every detail is nicely defined. It was really a challenge to paint this. There was more hand painting needed due to the small size. It took a couple of days just for hand painting alone. This was really fun to build. I will probably revisit this line of kit in the future. I highly recommend this kit if you are into miniature painting. Thank you for sticking all the way to the end. See you in the next build!